This is the pictorial representation of what is happening up on the pole. Or if you have a ground mounted transformer and buried loop, what is inside that little green box. Now here we are at the top of the utility pole. Note that the highest wire coming to that insulator is the power wire. As we follow that wire down, it goes to the top of the primary winding inside the can. Pause and rewind back to the pictorial if necessary. These four terminals represent the secondary connections. The one on the left goes to one end of the secondary and the one on the right goes to the other end. The center one is the center tap on the secondary and becomes the neutral wire to the panel and is grounded. The lower one is ground going to the outside of the can. You can't see where the hot wire goes in this view. We'll get to that in a minute. Down at the bottom of the can is an additional ground connection. All of the pole grounds are tied together and you can see that one of them goes to the guy wire that holds the wires going to the house. This wire becomes the neutral wire to the panel. From this angle, you can see where the high voltage enters the transformer can through its insulated bushing. The additional bushing on the right is the lightning arrestor, and the spark gap is obvious. The lightning arrestor is attached to the can and therefore represents ground. Any lightning energy on the line will jump the spark gap and go to ground. This is meant to protect the transformer and usually works. Although the transformer survived, a spike is often passed through that can wreak havoc with sensitive electronics in the house. The lower wire coming from the utility is grounded at the pole. This wire, although it is at ground potential, carries all the current that the house is using. So let's say the house is maxed out at 200 amps. Then the current flow in this wire would be 60 amps due to the transformer action if we have a 30 to 1 step down transformer. If this wire is broken, even though it is a ground, Reconnection will show a spark if the circuit is energized in any way. Never allow yourself to complete the circuit with your body.